what it is, man. Hood Affairs TV, man. Got my homies Fat Trail, Tracy T in the building, man, right now. You know what I'm saying? They just got through the interview at 107.9 Station. Was, station, what's going on? What's up, man? What's up? We chilling, man. Hood Affairs. Epic, epic, epic with Hood Affairs. This is an epic real life movie type mm -hmm. shit, right? What do, baby? Ain't nothing, man. You know, we catching up. You know, right now, y'all just, you know, the news is out. Y'all just signed. But, you know, I've been really rocking with both of y'all before up until this point, you know what I'm saying? So, of course. I still, I've been wanting to, you know, I've been rocking with Tracy, you know, I've been trying to reach out to Trail, you know what I'm saying? So, I got you here. Let them know, like, some of the shit that led up before y'all, you know, prior signing to this, mm -hmm. you know, MMG. Um, just, you know, just working in Miami, uh, at the uh, main headquarters in Miami, just working me, Tracy, Ross, me came through, uh, French came through for a little bit. Just recording V Billionaire was out there. Um, he was just getting getting work sent in and just working, putting in the groundwork, getting familiar with each other, you know what I'm saying, formatting songs and then they just put us on the road. He dropped his single featuring Meek. I dropped mine and we just we just went on the road, we went hand in hand from D C to the A, just working. Boy, just working. Ground work, like footwork. Got in the cold, got out in the rain, man, you know what I'm saying? I think niggas gotta do that, niggas snow, gotta do that. Snow, got in the snow, yeah, yeah. grinding, man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No question. You been making them songs and shit. What like what was the uh, what inspired that sixteen? Inspired sixteen, man. First of all, B B, you know, you know, he produced it. He crazy producer. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? When I, we was in the car, man, I said, play me some beats. You know what I'm saying? Played the sixteen. That was the first one. It just came to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm a street nigga. I've been I've been out of them streets. It's like a real story. You know what I'm saying? Every street nigga started. So might start with a fourteen. You know what I'm saying? Might start with a twenty eight. You know what I'm saying? I started with a sixteen. The sixteen ounces, if you don't know, sixteen ounces. Man. I started with it, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like real talk on the track, basically. You know what I'm saying? Just real talk. Just real talk. Yeah. Street street banger. You know what I'm saying? That's what it does. So yeah, both got new. Coming projects coming up, you know what I'm saying? Right, child, I know you had just recently dropped the mixtape. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just dropped um, Sex, Drugs, Money, and Guns. Also, the uh, label had put together an MMG priority. Priorities, John. With, uh, with everybody from the label, uh, I made priority songs. What we're working on, what's hot for us, whether we're going to do remixes and uh, so forth and so on. But, you know, um, yeah, they just shout out, they shout out videos for our singles, and, you know, we just planned it by air. We on their schedule now, you know. Everything's running different now because we are on their time, and, you know, they, they setting up everything. We might, so have a flight sure. in, we might have a flight in three hours right now. Don't even know it. We might be yes, leaving yeah. in three hours. It's just, a phone call. We're just rolling with the punches, and um, it's, it's yeah. new. It's new, but, you know, this is what we worked uh, hard for all our life for, to, exactly. be, to be at this point and to be on this schedule and to be with a squad like this. So exactly. we're just taking it a, a day at a time. That's what some niggas don't see. You know, they just be seeing the line like they don't know y'all. This shit like a real job. Y'all niggas, oh, oh, niggas be know, sacrificing a lot of shit. It's most definitely do this shit. a nine to five. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. It might be a, a nine to yeah. ten. Yeah. Nah, it's really worse than a nine to five. Yeah. Like, yeah. Niggas, niggas put in a lot of work, man. Niggas put in a lot of work. We, we spend a lot of time out in the streets. And, um, uh, um, I don't think people really know. Uh -huh. They really that, don't know. I don't think really people know that it's more business than the music. You feel me? Right. A lot of a lot of people think artists' job is just to record, but that's that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go to, uh, talk to a lot of DJs, a lot, a lot of blogs, a lot of people such as Hood Affairs, and you know what I'm saying? Different radio stations, one hundred seven point nine Screen, DJ Holiday, uh, different clubs, different venues. You know what I'm saying? Different events. Every day. Pour your milk. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, concert Every day, yesterday. constantly you know, during the you know day. What I'm it's a lot of groundwork. You gotta, you gotta shake a lot of hands. You gotta, you know what I'm saying. You gotta meet a lot of people. All the tastemakers in different cities. It's a lot of work to be put in. Uh -huh. MMG move like, you know, MMG move like. Matter of fact, y'all need to explain how MMG move because I know it's a no brainer when they yeah. approach y'all. Like sometimes they be like, "Nah, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that." But y'all say, right man, there, it, it look like y'all fit right in with the camp. Like so, it's, it's like, it's like. They embrace us as family, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a cool real thing. It's more like family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more, more, more than a record label. It's more like That's family, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's like, well, they word is law and, 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 and they gonna go hard behind whatever situation they dealing with. From what I see, you know what I'm saying? From the outside, I don't know. I don't know if, if I don't know if people could tell from the um, outside looking in, but it's really like it's really Ross in the office every day That's calling right. shots. Make it, make it, making, um, making Power decisions, move. making choices, and making, you know what I'm saying, putting right. plays together like it's really him. Yeah, he got right. about two people hands that on. sit with him and yeah. work with. He definitely hands on with every situation, and not just me and Tracy T. Hands on with Wale, Meek Mill, Stally, Rocky Fresh, and, and and you know he's an artist himself. He just dropped Devil Is Alive featuring Jay Z, Mastermind on the way. So it's it's crazy, but you know what I'm saying. It's, it's a 
I feel good about it because the way I look at it is, man, we we all young black Americans, you feel yeah. me? And, and to be blessed in the position that we in after what people say what we're supposed to do and to see what we're doing, working, an mm -hmm. honest legal situation, bringing in that cake and, you know what I'm saying, doing sure. it on the way that we're doing it's, it's It's a beautiful blessing that we never take nothing for granted. We just uh -huh. work hard for everything we got. Well, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Plenty of work. You have more night. I mean, every every street nigga want to get street money, but not just take the, you know illegal shit take to do it. No, nigga, yeah, nigga, 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 just trying to hustle. Man. This is just a different type of hustle. Yeah, this yeah, the yeah, hustle yeah, nigga want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all nigga, money, man. It's hundred and one ways to get money, and um, you know, I look at it like I look at it like man, I got kids. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, you you get to that point in your life where you you just you really decide. You know what I'm saying? Like man, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go all the way crazy and just jump off this building and just try to get as much money for my kids as I can. Or can I take it slow one day at a time and build what I have up? And you know, hopefully by the time they're ten, they'll be super super straight. You know what I'm saying? Just take it one day at a time and being just focused. not yeah, just being focused on on something positive and not just. Running the streets, going crazy, jacking yeah. purses, and yeah. you gotta know what you want, man. You gotta know what you want. Yeah. You know where you want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said, just about making decisions, calculated steps. You know what I'm saying? It's about determination too. Yeah. It's uh, about determination and your will to work, your your desire. Yeah. You know the fact. I, I for one, I love music. I didn't just start rapping because one day we was freestyling running away. I actually love music. You know what I'm saying? I listen to what my mother and my father was listening to. As a youngin', and you know, I really love, genuinely love music. So you know, it's, I just got a different passion for it. You feel me? I feel as though Tracy is the same type of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real music, all the hours we sit up in the lab trying to, <laughs> trying to top the last song, trying to yeah. top the last song, trying to top the last song. You know what I mean? It's like every day we we just determine. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, y'all yeah, got y'all on sound too. Like you know, Tracy, like especially you coming from Atlanta, like yeah. you know how. That shit is here. Nigga might try and swag and nigga yeah. shit, but you know, you playing your oh, own man. lane and you playing your own lane, so yeah. I just want to respect that. You know what I'm And I think with both of y'all, y'all both been putting in work in y'all cities, you know what I'm saying, before y'all got to this. So niggas really, like, niggas that know y'all really know, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. This that's shit ain't no old man shit. I think that's what determines how good a motherfucker is as an artist, though, you feel me? When you put a Miami nigga in the room with a Philly nigga and then a young, a young, Atlanta nigga oh, yeah. from a different generation with different morals and different codes mm -hmm. and a young DC nigga from a different generation with different morals and different codes. You put all them niggas in the room and see how they react around each other. That, that goes to show how, how good a motherfucker is as an artist, you know what I'm saying? And like you said, we, we've been working for years before. To a lot of people, this is going to be just the beginning. But you know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. been grinding for years, you feel me? It just is what it is.